Hey everyone, today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. I'll be unboxing the new DJI Avada 2. It's DJI's third FPV drone and the second one in the Avada series. So let's get right into it. Drones are one of those things that I've always been attracted to, but just recently started getting into. Now, this is my third official drone. I have the DJI Mavic 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. I have always stayed away from FPV drones because of the goggle aspect of it. Although I think they're amazing, I'm not a big fan of VR headsets. I don't like the way they feel, the weight, the resolution, so I've always put FPV drones in that same category. However, now that I've used the Apple Vision Pro and kind of gotten used to how it feels, I decided to try an FPV drone. I opted for the Fly More combo with the three batteries. The batteries are about 150 a piece, so I decided that the 200 extra dollars kind of justified the three battery package. Now this package comes with the brand new DJI Goggles 3, the DJI RC Motion 3 controller, and the drone itself. Now let's get inside this box. First we have to get rid of this plastic, and I think I'm just gonna grab my knife for this. Let's see what we got. We have a single pull tab here. Let's continue inside. Man, that's pretty package center. All right, so let's get the box out of the way. Unzip it, see what we have in here. Let's start off with the controller itself. And it's much smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know, it just looks bigger in people's hands and the images that I've seen. It comes with the controller and a strap. Very nice, I, let's see, I guess you could just loop it through there to tie this strap in there. Now the RC Motion 3 controller has five buttons. It's a one-handed remote with an accelerating trigger, a joystick, it has a power button here, a record button on the opposite side, and a dial that allows you to operate the tilt on the camera. The mode switch also acts as a return to home button. The bright orange button is used to take off and land, and it can act as a hard brake that stops the drone in its tracks. Honestly, this button right here is probably your main line for your safety. That way, whenever you're about to crash, you can just kind of press it and the drone should stop, hopefully before you crash. The trigger allows you to control the acceleration as well as reverse. There's also a new FPB Remote Controller 3, but that's not included in this package. This controller is supposed to be great for beginners, so that's one of the main reasons I opted not to purchase the Remote Controller 3 as well. Now let's move on to the goggles. Man, I've almost dropped everything that I've opened so far. I don't think this is part of it. I think this is just part of the packaging just to protect the lenses. So let's move this to the side. Now these DJI Goggles 3 are a sleek and upgraded headset which uses fewer wires, or should I say wireless. Those of you who have used the DJI FPBs in the past will be pleased to know that the Goggles 3 hold an internal charge and no longer require wires dangling from the ports, you know, like the Apple Vision Pro does. The only port the Goggles have is this USB-C port for charging, but it could also be used when connected to the DJI Fly app to utilize a smartphone or tablet as a monitor. But what's really cool is if you forget the wire behind, you can still use your phone as a monitor just using a sort of casting to your phone. That way others can see what you see. To select through modes and settings and functions, the goggles have this joystick and back button. The view inside the goggles is adjusted using these knobs at the bottom and in between the eyes, there's a proximity sensor. There's also a slot for SD card to record your screen. The goggles are adjustable to your head and come with additional padding if needed. There are two antennas on the front for signal and you'll also notice these two little cameras right here, like two little eyes, and that's because the Goggles 3 support picture-in-picture. -picture. 
double tap either side of the headset and the operator will have a live view through the goggles to check their surroundings all without having to take the headset off. So let's put the goggles to the side here. Here we have the battery, the three battery package. And they're rather slim batteries compared to my other two drones. There we go. Well, it's very nice design. And there we go. USB-C right there. And you just kind of put the batteries in there and they will charge. So that's the batteries. Nothing too exciting about the batteries. Like I said, they're just nice and small, thin. Now here is the drone itself. This also seems a lot smaller than what I've seen in the pictures. Charge to activate the intelligent flight battery before using it for the first time. So just like any other battery, they want you to charge it before you use it for the first time. Let me not break anything, but I really think this comes off. Yep, there we go. Just another protector there. Nice little camera, nice little small drone. I really like it. So this drone is completely different from the original. So parts for the Avada 1 will not fit the Avada 2. It is supposed to be significantly quieter than the original Avada 1. I really can't wait to get this thing up in the air, but obviously I have to charge it first. Do not touch the air intake to avoid burns. So apparently it gets pretty hot. Doesn't seem like we get anything else, but I think in here there's a bunch of little spare parts. Yep, it's like with any other drone, they give you a bunch of little small parts just in case you crash it. Yeah, have one, two, three, four to replace once each time. We have a USB, USB-C cable, a key of sorts. I'm not sure what this is used for. Nothing too exciting here, just a USB-C to USB-C cable. I'll set that to the side. And I think that's pretty much all that is in here. It's a pretty nice little bag where whenever you have these many accessories, you definitely want to have a package to put them all in. This pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Stay tuned for the follow-up video on how it is to fly this FPB drone. Hopefully I don't crash it the very first time I use it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.